Hello and welcome back to my channel. I decided to do another vlog. I'm trying to do one a month as I'm going through this process, this journey of divorce, just to kind of check in how it's going, what's going on. And I thought a fun, juicy spin on today's vlog would be to answer slash address some of the criticisms that I've been getting, that I've been seeing. I will say that overall, I feel like I'm pretty non-problematic. Like I'm just over here on my little corner of the internet sharing life hacks for the most part. But you know, the more you share of your personal life and with this divorce going on, you know, people have some things to say. And I'm glad to say that I'm at a point in my life where criticism like that does not really affect me the way that it used to. I think the older you get, the less you care. But at the same time, I mean, I thought it would be fun to chat, to address some things. So let's go there. Let's start with the first little piece of criticism is that I am out here trying to monetize my divorce and exploit the situation. From my perspective, I have shared my life here on my YouTube channel, the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows for 10 years. So this is a huge thing that's happening in my life and um, I am choosing to share it. My thought, my hope is that if anyone is out there who is going through this or you know may go through it one day can look back on these videos and if anything I learn and experience can help somebody else, that means something to me. And I've already got messages um, from several people, a lot of people saying that they are going through something similar and we're all in this together. I wanna to start like a support group. I'm thinking of starting like a Facebook group or some kind of a support group. I'm just trying to navigate this whole new world and situation. So as I'm learning things, as I'm growing and evolving through this process, I am choosing to share that. I have approximately six minutes to scarf down my lunch before I have to run and pick up the kids from school, which Capri started preschool last week and she's doing so well and it is the craziest feeling in the world. This is the first time in six and a half years that I've had several hours during the day where both kids are at school. Like, do you hear that? Do you hear that? Silence. So I'm eating my HelloFresh meal in a plate and no, this is not sponsored by HelloFresh but it is a good segue into discussing another criticism about me that I see, and that is that I'm like a sellout, I do too many brand deals, like things along those lines. This is something that I used to have a really hard time with. I just felt so bad about it, to the point that for the first two years of my YouTube channel, I didn't even turn ads on my videos because I felt like guilty about that. And the way that I look at it now is that everyone's a consumer. Everyone out there is buying things. So why not shop and find out about things through somebody that you know and hopefully trust and value their opinion? Because to me, as long as I could do this job and do it in a way where I maintain my integrity, I feel good about that. And if I can help people make better choices about what's worth it, what's not, and the way that I kind of gauge this to myself is, is this something that I love enough that I will continue to repurchase on my own? Because when I work with a brand, they'll usually send me the product to try but it's up to me like I continue to buy it or not two weeks ago I was offered the biggest contract I've ever been offered and it was a six video deal for next year it was such a big contract that it could have I mean like paid my bills for the entire year just doing that and I flat out turned it down why because I just did not feel good about the product especially to promote it and talk about it to such a capacity like it would have to be something that I really love because I've been doing this for so long I'm lucky enough that I'm in a position where I can afford to be picky I'm not desperate I'm not taking every brand deal that comes my way it's only the ones that I really like and I know everyone says that but I put my money or lack of money where my mouth is like I have the receipts I turned down the biggest contract ever presented to me solely because I did not believe in the product hello it is the next morning I just got back from Pilates and headline news, I have the best coffee drink, the little concoction that I came up with, better than Starbucks, okay? So good, I was dreaming about this. Okay, so this is the exact creamer, pumpkin pie spice by International Delight. So I put a dash of this at the bottom, you know, a decent amount, maybe one or two inches worth, I don't know the measurements. Then some milk and whatever milk you like. I'm a whole milk girly, okay? Then you wanna get your little mini whisk. I like the double one, it does whisk better. And get that all nice and frothed up. Into that I add one of these Nespresso pods. It's the double espresso scuro. Stir it 
to combine. Then I add a whole bunch of ice. You can have this iced or hot for the finishing touches. I do whipped cream. I do a little cinnamon and sprinkles. Why? Because it's fun. It gives it a little bit of crunch. And you guys, I'm telling you, better than Starbucks, not as sweet. Like I don't like things that are sickeningly sweet. Wow, 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 wow. Like this is what a Starbucks iced PSL wishes it could be. I said what I said. So that brings me on to my next criticism. This is a big one that I've been getting recently is that I look too thin, I need to eat more, I look sick, like all of these things. And that is one I will say valid. I get it and I agree with you. I am a little bit um, on the smaller side, smaller than I wanna be, and that is because I'm under a lot of stress. And I'm the type of person, when I get stressed, it's harder for me to eat. I lose my appetite. Some people, when they're stressed, they eat more. Some people, when they're stressed, they eat less. But I'm trying. Like just before my workout, I had an 800 calorie um, mass gainer smoothie that I have in the mornings, and then I'm trying to eat five or six smaller meals a day, I just find like I'm able to eat more that way. I'm sure most of us, 99.9% .9 of us know this. It's never nice to comment on someone's weight, especially if you don't know them personally. If you are not a very close friend or family member, it's just best to keep your opinions to yourself or even better, try to have compassion for people because we never really know what is going on in somebody's personal life. Okay, this next one, whew, this one hurts a little because it's true. I can admit, I can see when things are actually true. And that is uh, regarding the live stream that I did a couple weeks ago, if you miss it. I did a happy hour live stream where I had a glass of wine, like literally half a glass of wine. And I was live chatting. I felt like I was just talking with my girlfriends and I, I made some sly remarks. I had a few things that I normally would not have said and in retrospect i should not have said this is the big downside with live events you can't cut anything out me now i'm like watching and editing this footage and i'm making sure i've thought about it i didn't say anything too bad but at the time i will say this like i was going through a very angry moment a lot of this has just felt very unfair to me and that's a hard feeling to process so i should not have gone and done a live event uh, while i was feeling that way thankfully i am more so at a place of like peace and acceptance and trying to really rise above it so i'm about to go run a bunch of errands and then pick up the kids from school and i do this thing every day i call it the five o'clock mom because it's really challenging like after school that little period of time before bed where they're kind of cranky, kind of tired. I don't want them watching TV the whole night. So I just set up like really easy activities. And actually this is one time where I was mom shamed and I like, I it pissed me off, okay? Somebody wrote in and said, Brittany, you do too many activities with your kids. You need to relax and just let them be kids. And I was like, excuse me like now i'm getting mom shame for setting up activities for my kids so this is it this one is actually a little kit use what you have if you have shells in your house i'm sure you have paint set it up after school i put like a snack and a little activity and it just helps me be more calm because it can be stressful in the afternoons i do post almost every day on my instagram stories Vassar beauty make sure you watch my stories and that is where i share and there's also a highlight it's called kid activities where I have like 50 or more. Another thing I just wanted to touch on is how I'm doing, what's going on, what's like the update on the living situation and all that. And I will say the hardest part about this whole divorce is the living situation that he is still here. It just makes it hard to move on. It's hard to see somebody when you are trying to heal and move forward is not up to me at this point, like legally. The bright side is by still staying in the same house, it does make it a little easier on the kids because we're both still here. They don't have to go from one place to the next. So as much as it's hard on me, it is easier on the kids. But the other thing that I have been learning, and look, I am not perfect in this regard. I still mess up all the time, but I'm trying to do this thing where I wait 24 hours before I react. So if something happens or I hear something, anything that's upsetting or making me sad, angry, whatever it may be, they try to wait 24 hours and call it phone a friend. So if you're upset, don't react to the person, phone a friend, call, vent, talk to somebody else. And then after 24 hours, you can craft a response that's going to be a little bit more 
composed, hopefully, and also to do with kids, because I know a lot of other moms watch me. I am doing an experiment for the school year because one thing I was just concerned about with Capri starting preschool is, is she just gonna be constantly sick? Is Carter gonna be constantly sick? So I saw some research saying that if you do a nasal spray, an iodine saline nasal spray before and after interacting with people, it can drastically reduce your chances of getting a virus and reduce that viral load. So I was like, you know what? Why not try it? I'm just, again, doing an experiment. I'm not stressing about it. Capri does not mind the nasal spray. Carter doesn't like it. He's a little more sensitive. So my workaround for that is I got this little kid's nebulizer. I put the solution in there and then he could just take a couple deep breaths. And the science behind it, how it works, is the viral particles, they adhere to your nasal passages and it takes like two to three days for them to multiply and they develop in your nasal passage and then they spread to the rest of your body. So the idea is using the iodine solution can help kill them. But the way I see it, it's not gonna hurt the situation. It can only help, so why not? try it. Okay, so anyway, that was just a little random tidbit I want to throw in there, but I am going to wrap up this vlog and I want to finish by saying these criticisms is like such a small percentage, 0.01% of the vast majority of you guys who watch me and who are so incredibly supportive. I feel like I can never accurately convey my appreciation and my gratitude to all of you guys who watch me. So yeah, it just comes along with the territory of being on the internet. If you put your life, yourself out there, people are gonna have things to say and I just feel thankful that I'm now at a place where I can see it for what it is and not take it too personally and the things that I do need to take from it, I will and I will learn and grow from that. You know, look, we're all just trying our best. I'm just trying my best, trying to navigate a very uh, challenging time. So anyway, with all of that said, thank you for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.